True art comes from the innermost depths of the soul. A true artist lives a thousand lives all at once. A true artist works not for a particular audience's approval, but solely for the pure expression of innermost concepts. People have always been drawn to art. People have always wondered what it's like to hold a pencil. Truth is, you don't hold the pencil. The pencil holds you. You may think you're in control at the beginning stages of your art endeavor, but soon you will see you were never in control. As your subconscious mind molds with the unwitting strokes of your pencil or paintbrush, whichever medium you prefer, of course, as the last thing I wish to do is alienate or drive a wedge between the pencil drawers and those who hold a paintbrush, you will see you did not steer this process. The process steered you. And this is not a bad thing. The greatest realization the human collective ever came to in the dimension of art is that we are not in control. When you toss aside all ego and preconceptions and allow the distilled inner essence to manifest through you, you will create a timeless masterpiece. I welcome you to my art showcase. Fe feel free to look around. <laughs>
Oh, how insignificant uh, human life can be. You can see that Pumpkin Stallone, named after the famous Italian stallion Rocky Stallone from the Rocky movies, he is holding a dead human in his his hand. How's that for scary folks? That's another addition to my Halloween crew. And uh, I would say Pumpkin Stallone is the most muscular uh, figure I've ever drawn. If you look. Veins all through his neck, veins through his arms, veins through his pecs. Uh, his, his muscles are so big and so wide, I could look at them all day. And that, when you can look at a piece all day, you'll know that you've done something right with your art. What would an art showcase be if I did not pay at least some attention to current events? That was a picture of Hurricane Irma on the TV, and that is sort of a, a blanket uh, uh, implication that the television overhyped that particular storm. The television certainly overhyped Hurricane Irma, made it seem like it would be more than it was so they could sell more airtime, make more money, and uh, make the retail stores more money as well. But I digress. I do not wish to get sidetracked by the political events of today and the current political climate. Sure, I could wax philosophical on those uh, topics for hours upon hours, and perhaps I will in future videos, but this video is meant to be strictly art. Where it all began, folks. The unsharpened pencil that's where it all began. Once I sharpened that pencil back when I was a young boy and I put it down to paper, that is where my adventure as an artist began and I have compounded upon that year after year, molding myself into a better and better artist. Sometimes we must draw the basics, the rudimentary, what started us so we can connect from start to finish on our growing journey as artists. Not all art is drawn or painted or sculpted. Uh, some art can be found in video creations. Uh, perhaps someone down the road, uh, if I may be bold enough to suggest, will stumble upon this video and say that it, oh, too, was a work of art. But also, poetry is art. And I would like to read a haiku I composed and sort of analyze it and define it for you. I have simply entitled this haiku, Haiku. Line 1. Stars are bright at night. Line 2. The daytime scares them away. Line 3. Do stars have secrets? That poem can be as simple or as deep as you make it out to be. Perhaps sometimes things that light up the night also too have things that they are hiding. Sometimes the dark, sometimes the dark has bright spots in it as well. But sometimes what is hidden may be hidden for a reason and unearthing those hidden properties, those hidden aspects can lead to chaos and destruction. Now, I would like to end this art showcase with one final reading of this haiku. I hope you've all enjoyed what I've presented today. I spent many hours composing uh, this piece, and I hope you have thoroughly enjoyed what I've presented. Stars are bright at night. The daytime scares them away. Do stars have secrets? Just one final note on that, folks. You can see in the first line I used a fancier font with my writing, and then as I go to the second line it gets a little bit less fancy. And the third line less fancier still. That is to highlight how the difference in tone, uh, the tone sort of goes into a darker and darker place as uh, the palm goes along. That's what that is to show.
stars are bright at night, the daytime scares them away, do stars have secrets?